Hi there, Chris May along with you, but I'm not alone. I know what it seems at first, but it is Friday, so I'm joined on the line by Andrew Fazekas, our night sky guy, live from Montreal, Quebec. How are you, the, how are you today, sir? Good. Hi. Nice to speak to you. Hey, good to be speaking to you as well. It's actually been a couple of weeks since I've had an opportunity to be here on a Friday, so this is quite special. Hey, you know what? When we talk about the upcoming weekend, I know we're looking at eastern Canada being marred with rain, but it should not still, there's going to be breaks at times. There's still going to be a lot of stargazing coast to coast. I know you and I may not have the greatest opportunity being in Ontario and Quebec respectively, but what can people expect to see in the sky other areas around the country? Well, uh, this week we're actually going to be talking about uh, a constellation that everyone can see uh, throughout the, the, the course of the next month, actually. It's going to be prime time viewing for this constellation. It's probably the most prominent uh, one in the southern or southeastern skies. Um, it's called Pegasus, the flying horse. And it's really easy to find because it looks like a giant baseball diamond in the sky. Oh, That's I'm interested now. <laughs> That's basically what it, what, it, what it looks like. It's called the giant baseball diamond or the great square of Pegasus, it's also known as. And it, 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 you, it has the four sides of the diamond. And it's, the, it's pretty easy to find because there's nothing else that's as bright in the sky in, uh, like this, in, in, at least in the early evening in the southeast. There's nothing else. So it's pretty easy to find. Now, what's neat is that this week we actually made a big news, and we'll talk about this a little bit more in the, in the, uh, in the, in the space news, is we found a planet called 80, uh, a star actually called 8799 that has planets on it. And while you can't see the planet, you can see the star, even with the naked eye from, uh, from the countryside with a pair of binoculars. They're really easy to see. And all you do is you just point it to the side of the square, the upper right-hand side of the square with a pair of binoculars. You should see both stars of the, of, the, of the baseball diamond. And right in between that line is where that star is. So and basically, HR 8799 is rounding first and heading for second. Exactly. You got it. <laughs> That's perfect. That's right. So, you know, it's, it's, this is an amazing thing, and we'll talk about this more on the Space News, but you can see this. And it, it, this is the, uh, the sign of, of Pegasus, the constellation. It's the flying horse. And you basically, the, the baseball diamond marks the chest of the horse. And then the rest of the, 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 the neck and face go off to the right. And what's really neat is there's this what's, uh, star cluster that's visible on just at the end of the tip of the nose of the, of the horse. It's called M15. And get this, it's 36,000 light years away. Wow. Visible with a pair of binoculars, even from the city. Well, I'm going to leave some time for space because I'm going to find out more about the star with the planet circling around it because I understand it's not just one, it's actually a couple of them. So let's get to the cosmic quiz. Well, the cosmic quiz with Pegasus, uh, how about this? What mythological figure rode Pegasus? Could it be Orion? How about Perseus? Or maybe Cepheus? Hmm. Who rode Pegasus, the flying That's horse? It's going to be tough. I'm going to have to go back to my uh, Greek mythology for that one. But to, and we will get to that answer before we split. We've got about 90 seconds. Let's get to Space News. I know you just started to touch on it. What's going on with HR 8799? Well, uh, it made huge news yesterday when astronomers released the first direct image ever taken of a planet around another star outside of our solar system. And it wasn't just one planet. It was actually, they found three planets, three planets wow. circling a star 130 light years away. They took the pictures with the uh, giant telescopes on Mauna Kea in Hawaii. Here they're circled. The two of them are B and C. They don't have any romantic names, but these are young planets they're only 60 million years old they're still glowing a little bit and we actually picked up that heat that glowing heat from them that's how we found them that is unbelievable so these are planets that would be a lot too unlike what our planet would have been when we were only 60 million years old we've got the lava and the building atmosphere at this point yeah exactly very early on in the evolution of this planetary life cycle beautiful let's get back to that cosmic quiz the question today was what mythological figure rode pegasus what were our three choices again uh, could it be Orion, Perseus, or Cepheus? I'm going to go Perseus only because I'm pretty hip to my mythology. What is the answer today? <laughs> the answer is oh, yeah. E, Perseus. Young Perseus, the hero, rode the winged horse Pegasus to rescue Princess Andromeda. 
What a what a dram dramatic story. Eh? What a dramatic end to yet another fantastic week of space news. Thanks a lot, Andrew, for joining us on the line. Folks, if you'd like to find out more about the new star that we've discovered with planets surrounding it, that and so much more, go to www.thenightskyguy.com.